What is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and Blackout Battle Royale has been getting a ton of complaints recently from the COD community because of the new camo unlock progression system in the game. Basically, if you guys find these little paint cans off the ground and you rack up a certain number of these cans, you can unlock a number of camos in the game. And so yeah, a lot of people have been kind of upset about this system because pretty much the players are just simply focusing on getting these cans off the ground instead of actually playing the game. So like the main focus of players right now are just finding these paint cans off the ground. And I admit it too, I'm one of those players because I already have you know max levels i'm i have all the characters you know there really isn't any reason for me to grind the game out to actually play the game unless i'm going for wins which i still kind of am however winning as of now is not my primary focus i want to unlock camo so today i kind of want to go more into detail with my thoughts on the camo system after playing the game for a bit longer offer up some solutions and then show you guys what david vondahar the game developer himself has to say about this camo progression system and a couple more stuff so let's go ahead and get started now guys I do feel that this system is really not that bad at all I actually kind of like the idea of having to do something that's somewhat easy and fun to unlock camos instead of trying to go for a headshot with a gun that I've tried to find for over 10 minutes now and looked over like five different map locations already you know I think more people who are complaining about this can system they probably would prefer that system over something that's somewhat similar to what multiplayer has they'll take that in a heartbeat however we do got to address the fact that the majority of the player base are simply just looking for these cans off the ground inside buildings and etc instead of actually playing the game itself now one way to rectify this would be to Maybe add a system to where if you kill a player who has like say five cans, then you can loot those cans and then you can add them onto your personnel, onto your body. Or if you get a kill, then maybe you can get like three extra cans or something like that. You know, there needs to be a fine line between making the camo progression system fun and somewhat easy, yet still kind of in favor for those players who do like to win, who do like to go for kills, that kind of stuff, who do like to unlock challenges that are somewhat difficult. That's my little scenario here that I think would really make this camel progression system better for everybody, not just one type of player base. Plus, I do feel that the amount of cans that can be found off the streets definitely needs to be nerfed because players are just driving around on ATVs, on cargo trucks, on ARAVs, and just picking up can after can after can after can. So that definitely needs to be looked at and hopefully it can get resolved very very soon i'm sure a lot of players would agree with that now david vondahar has actually responded to the paint can little design system and basically he says that not everything in the game has to be about rewarding you for kill slash gun skill i like the emergent stories alt behaviors and overall variety and spice i appreciate you hardcore gun skill elites i do but for the game to grow, it has to work for everybody. And by that, I agree 100%. But I still feel that there should be something else to reward those players who are able to get kills or win the game besides just getting merits, which by the way, I myself and many others are already maxed out in merits, but the devs have stated they do plan on adding more, but still, like, what happens after that? I reach the max merit rank, and I go back to focusing on getting pink hands, and now we are back to square one again, so adding extra merits is not the solution to this at all. And over on Twitter, Vaughn is very much so advocating for this new camo progression system, and I do like the idea for sure, don't get me wrong, I just think we should be able to earn extra cans either by looting players who have collected cans already or we can get extra cans for winning slash getting kills in the game, that kind of stuff. If you guys have any solutions, ideas, comments, please tell me down below in the comment section of this video. I'd be more than happy to read them. And so yeah, the next thing I want to talk about here are new locations coming to Blackout Battle Royale. David Von Haar posted on Twitter that they are working on adding new areas for Season 3, which I assume is going to be coming out sometime next month. Um, I want to say in March, maybe towards the end of February. I'm not all too sure. Hopefully, they do add more than one new location. Like, Hijack was cool and all, but I just want more, 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 more. Um, I don't know what they're going to be adding next. I really don't have any clue. 
Um, I would also like to maybe see something that's not a part of the Black Ops universe come into the Blackout map, like maybe just say a totally random new location that's never ever been seen before. Um, but so yeah guys, new locations coming and the camo progression system is getting looked at. Um, but in terms of how big of a change it's gonna is, is gonna happen, I really don't see that big of a change at all. But again, please tell me your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. And thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.